Hello and welcome to the Hoof GP. Today we're here trimming nearly 50 stock bulls that are due to run with their female counterparts. We're here to make sure their feet are in tip top condition. Guys, stick with me, smash the subscribe button, and let's enjoy this video together. The farm we're at today nestles right in the southwest corner of Scotland and is home to just under a thousand milking cows. I've actually been here a few times on the channel so I'll link those videos in the description below. We're here to trim and check 50 bulls feet and make sure that they are in as good a condition as possible. By the way, it'll be really noisy today because all the bulls are trying to man up against each other. How are you finding the system coming in, the bulls coming in here? It's working well, it's holding them for now. The reason I'm asking Craig this is, Craig's the one getting them in, all I'm doing is trimming them. You've got to be more cautious with bulls. Uh, you have to make sure you've got an easy exit strategy or if they come at you, you're pretty much... Screwed's fine, you can say screwed. Screwed. So we're trying to keep them all packed up and keep them in together. Kind of people calm, but as you can see, it's not that easy, although this system is quite good. So this farm has around a thousand milking cows, and we are trimming 50 bulls today, and it's not because they're lame, it's not because they're overgrown, it's mostly just so that we can check they are 100% ready, pick out any that are lame and that will need more attention, and make sure that these guys stay in the health that they already are. Friendly in. To be honest, I'm not really sure why he feels the need to do that, but he seems to be quite enjoying it. So most of these bulls have really, really good feet. You can see this outside claw is slightly bigger than the inside claw, and our job here is to make this the same height as this, so that the weight is spread evenly between the two. And it might seem like we're not doing very much, but it's a hugely valuable job, especially when you consider they might have small issues that we can fix really easily right now before they become big issues, and it's too late for the bull. So you can see there's a small crack here in his heel and that could become a really big and serious issue. But all we need to do is follow back that loose cracked horn, reduce the height of this heel and it'll become a complete non-issue. In many cases like this, I'm not even gonna bother using the knife to dish this out because there's really no point. We need a big surface area on a bull's foot to take the colossal weight that some of these guys have. And 
And again, if you look at this foot more closely, you can see how much bigger this foot or this claw is compared to the inside claw. So let's do exactly the same as we did on that claw, but on this one. So what you guys wouldn't have noticed there was, there was actually a stone in that little crack there and that stone would have kept working up and regressing its way right up into the white line of this bull's foot and that would have helped to split off the wall horn from the sole causing a major problem. As you can see it's a complete non-issue, that's just a little bit of dirt that's left over and I'm not going to get rid of it because if I did I'd be making this part too thin. And that's that foot finished, it may not look fantastically pretty but it is really functional. Lots of different bulls of breeds kind of have different traits to them. This is a Hereford bull that's in right now and he has really big flat feet on his front and you find that really really commonly with Herefords. I don't know why but you definitely So when bulls are in together, they tend to fight for supremacy, and during all of that hustle and bustle, they can easily become heart injured, bruised, bashed and sore, and that was thought to be the case with this bull. Pulled muscles and torn tendons are actually fairly common in bulls, so when a farmer tells me that these bulls have been fighting and they're extremely sore, lame or limping because of it, I'm actually really hoping, as daft as it sounds, that I find something fairly serious wrong with their feet. So this front right foot clearly has a big crack up his white line and that could have been done during a fight or something like that. Trimming in this way will completely cure this and there will be no need to see this foot again. The only trouble is, the farmer told me it was his front left shoulder that had been hurt. So I'm keen to get this foot finished and get over to that front left foot and hopefully find something there that I can also fix. So that lesion on the back of this bull's foot isn't actually that serious, but Craig is applying a block to make sure that it doesn't become more serious. Because these bulls are so, so heavy, a problem like that can easily turn into something that could actually end up with him needing to be culled. If this was a cow, there's no way I'd be blocking that right now, because what we did in the way of trimming it was pretty much spot on and she would have healed. But I genuinely doubt this guy would heal without the aid of this block. As it is, should be a non-issue. That is hydraulic oil, by the way, not blood. So as I start to progress through this trim, you'll notice sole separation starting to appear at this big guy's toe. Anything happening in that area points to something that has caused real pain, if not now, definitely in the past. I'm really hopeful that this problem has been serious enough for the farmer to believe that this big guy's shoulder has been what's causing the problem. Once we've taken the bulk of the excess material away with the grinder, it's time to fine tune this trim using the knife. And as we do that, it becomes very clear that this has indeed been a major trauma to this bull's foot. 
If we were to leave all of that overburdening horn, the loose, disconnected tissue, all that would happen would be the void would fill with dirt, debris and slurry and create even more issues for this bull. As it is right now, there's a void in there and that in itself is causing a bit of discomfort and pain. So once it's all been removed, we prepare that outer claw for a block so that it can take the majority of this guy's weight and make sure that inner claw has time to thicken up, heal and become completely sound. Trimming a complicated issue like this really can take a lot of time, but it is money well spent in my opinion because this bull will go from being sore, uncomfortable and in pain to having a new lease of life in the coming days, which is good for a bull, good for me and good for the farmer. Right. Once removing all of the loose horn has been taken care of, the last thing to do is make sure there are no remaining sharp or high edges, and that is taken care of with the grinder. When I'm trimming flat out, it's Craig's job to ensure there's always an animal right behind the crush, because that way it keeps them calm, because they're following the other one, and it means we're much quicker because we don't have to wait on a cow coming. Boys. And yes, Craig has a stick with him, but he really, really only uses it to steer the cows and to make sure he can tap them on the bum or whatever, rather than use his hand. Back to trimming. So we're putting a few blocks on today, but most of them are pre preventative. Like there's little cracks around here, so we're putting a block on to make sure those don't escalate into big cracks. And he's got one on this side. Again, just little cracks around here, stress with iodine. And that is to make sure these don't get any worse. pretty much perfect on this guy. That one was perfect, this one is perfect, apart from he's got a clear injury here. It's important to remove all these tiny little cracks because we don't dirt and bacteria collecting in there and those cracks continuing to make bigger ones. But as you can see, luckily for him and me, it comes to nothing. You see, this bull's feet is a pretty good example of 90% of the feet we're seeing today, but they're still very worthwhile to be picked up, checked over and made sure that the weight is just distributed evenly between the two. I'm still doing the step method, but sometimes I do it in reverse order. So, 
made sure the length's the same, made sure the weight is distributed evenly between the two, modelled out, checked for any loose horn, which it doesn't have, and then checked for any problems finally. And that's it. Five step routine. Done. You guys always see me trimming, but actually Craig is a really, really good trimmer now as well. He does take a little bit longer than me, and he does seek reassurance from me sometimes, but he is a very, very competent trimmer. Here's another big bull, or rather French bulldog. Stevie boy, Stevie boy. In your bed. Good boy. People often comment and remark on the music that I choose and the videos that I produce and wonder why it is I choose the songs that I choose. Well, to me, they kind of convey the emotion I have when I think about my work in life. I love my life, I love what I do for a job, and I love the world we live in. Last big daddy of a bull. You take my Coming family is that from me, from Craig, from these big bullies. It's goodbye. Bye. Catch you later, folks. Subscribe if you haven't already done it. Bye. Innocent, we know what we did. I'm a sucker for your love.